Okay, so for today, we're going to talk about the applications of first order differential equation in electrical circuits, but now it's an RC circuit. From our previous video, we talked all about RL, now for RC. RC stands for resistor capacitor circuits. So, if we are going to compare this with our previous discussion all about RL circuit, the inductor, or simply the L, is simply replaced by a capacitor, and the configuration of the circuit is still the same, connected in series. So we have the voltage source E, okay? and we have the resistor R, and we have the capacitor C connected all in series, and we have a switch here. Okay? So our differential equation for this uh, uh, application of D is equals to is, is equivalent to, I'm sorry, equivalent to R, which is the resistance in ohms, the change in charge with respect to time, okay, plus Q, which is the charge in columns, denoted by big letter C, don't be confused with the C, C stands for the capacitance, okay, and when it comes to unit, C stands for columns, okay, which is the unit of charge, uh, Q over C, which C is capacitance in terms of farads, okay? So the unit of capacitance is farad, denoted by big letter F. And that is equivalent to the voltage source E, of which the unit of the voltage is in terms of O. Okay, we need to take note that the current is equal to change in charge with respect to time. So if we need to get the current, we will be using this equation. Okay, so let's try to solve some problems. This is very similar to our problems in RL circuit, given that uh, the capacitor or the inductor is only changed with a capacitor. So it, it is now called RC circuit. So it's important to familiarize ourselves with that formula, with this formula, okay? So let's try to solve some problems. In a series RC circuit, R is equal to 5 ohms, C is equal to 0 0.01 farads, and E is equal to 100 volts. When time is equal to zero, the current is zero, okay? Find the charge at any time. So what are we going to do is to find an equation, okay, wherein we can find the charge at any time given, okay? At any time t. So for our equation, we shall be writing again, our dq over dt plus q over c is equal to e. So we write the given, okay? You must write the given, we have five ohms, so five dq over dt plus, uh, we don't know the q because the q is changing in terms of time. So we have q over 0 0.01 is now equal, that is our capacitance c, okay, that is q over c, and that is equal to 100. Okay, so if I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 5, I'll be getting what? dq over dt plus q over 5 times 0 0.01 is equal to 20, I guess. Okay, 20. Okay, so what will happen here is that we will be having 1 over 5 times 0 0.01 would become 20 also. Okay, if, you go, if you're going to calculate this. So this would be 20 q, okay is equals to 20. As you can see here, we have a linear equation or we can perform it using variable separable, but I'm going to show you uh, the solution of this by linear DE. So linear in what? In what variable? In terms of Q. So we have to solve this linear differential equation by, we have the Q, E raised to, we have 20, okay? 20 integral, okay, with respect to dt, okay? So, you must recall our discussion all about RL, okay? So, we have this linear equation. So, we have a, a little recap again. We have the dependent variable Q, okay, multiplied by E raised to the P of X, wherein the P of X simply is 20 because we need to isolate Q, okay, if you're going to remember our uh, discussion all about linear, okay? So, and then with respect, integrate with respect to the dependent or independent variable t. So, that's why we have dt. And that is equivalent to the integral of q of x of which that is 20, okay? E raised to the same, this the same, okay? 20 dt and 
with respect to t. Right? So if we evaluate this, this is q, e raised to 20 t is equal to, I can factor out 20 here, okay, because that's a constant. So the integral of this, okay, the integral of this is e raised to 20 t and dt. So what are we going to do? We are going to simply evaluate the integral of this. If you let u as 20 t, our du with respect to t is 20 dt, okay? So what are we going to do? is we need to offset some values of 20 so so that our du or dt would become du over 20 and we have dt. So we can therefore perform u substitution. So we have e raised to 20t, which is u, okay, and dt, which is equivalent to du over 20. So we can factor out 1 over 20 outside of the integral. So we have 20 over 20 e raised to u du. So 20 over 20 is simply 1. So we have QE raised to 20T is equal to E raised to U plus C. We're in, we're going to back substitute the value of U. So we have Q is equal to E raised to 20T is equal to E raised to, what is our U? 20T plus C. Okay, expressing this in terms of purely Q. If I'm going to divide the both sides of the equation by e raised to 20, e raised to 20 t, so we have e raised to 20 t over e raised to 20 t plus c, okay, over e raised to 20 t, we know that this would cancel, equivalent to 1, so we have 1 plus a c over e raised to 20 t. So, can we get now the charge at any time t? No, because we don't have yet the value of c. So, in order for us to find the value of C, okay, so we need to apply the initial condition that when time is equal to zero, current is equal to zero. When time is equal to zero, current is equal to zero. So, if current is equal to zero, so it means that there is no charge, okay? So, it means that the charge is also zero. So, we have zero is equal to one plus C e raised to 20 times 0, time is equal to 0. So, e raised to 20 times 0 is simply equal to 1. e raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, we have c is equal to negative 1. Okay? So, because c over 1 is c, so transpose 1 on the left side, so we have c is equal to negative 1. And again, if we're going to go back to this equation, to this equation, to substitute our value of c, so we have q is equal to 1 minus 1, okay? e raised to 20 t, and that is our charge at any time t. Because if I'm going to substitute a value of time, we can always get the value of q of the charge. Or in other words, we can rewrite this as q is equal to 1 minus okay, e raised to negative 20 t. Okay? So by loss of exponents. So this is the charge at any time t. Okay, that is our answer for the question number one. Okay, let's go now to our second question. A resistance of 10 ohms and C is equal to 0 0.1 farad is connected in series with a 12 volts battery. Find the charge at any time T. The charge and current 0 0.4 seconds after the switch is closed. So again, we need first to write our equation so that we can substitute the values given. So we have uh, R that is 10 ohms. So we have 10 dQ over dT plus Q over the value of C, which is 0 0.1 is equal to 12. Okay. So if I'm going to divide both sides by 10, so what will happen? We have dQ over dT plus Q 10 times 0 0.1 is equal to 12 over 10 is simply 1.2, okay? So 10 times 0 0.1, 1 over 10 times 0 0.1 would become dq over dt plus that should be equal to 1, okay? This should be equal to 1. 1 over 10 times 0 0.1, that is equivalent to 1. So 1 times q will simply mean q is equal to 1.2, Okay? So what will happen here is that this is still uh, a linear equation, okay? So linear equation, or it's a variable separable. So 
Again, I'm going to show you the linear here, but you can also solve this using variable separable. So we have what? Linear in Q, wherein, okay, wherein our P of X is equal to 1, okay, because this is 1, we need to isolate Q, and our Q of X is simply 1.2, okay? So what will happen here if this is linear to Q, we have the formula Q, E raised to P of X, which is 1, Okay, and integrated with respect to dt is now equal to the integral of q of x, which is 1.2, e raised to dt, and we have the dt here. So, that's simple, q e raised to t is equal to 1.2 integral of e raised to t, dt, and if furthermore we're going to evaluate this, that would be q e raised to t is equal to 1.2 e raised to t plus c. Okay? So, this is our general solution for our differential equation. So, can we get the charge at any time t? Not yet because we don't know the value of c. So, if I'm going, okay, to find the value of c, okay, we would be assuming, okay, even though it's not said in the problem, that at time is equals to uh, 0, okay, at time is equals to 0, Definitely the current is zero. Definitely the charge is also equal to zero. Okay? So what will happen? We have this side of the equation as zero is equal to 1.2 e raised to zero plus c. So this is equal to one. So c therefore would now be equal to negative 1.2. So if we plug in this value of c in our general solution, we have q e raised to t is equal to 1.2 e raised to t minus 1.2. This is our particular solution. And if I'm going to express this left side of the equation purely in terms of Q, I can divide both sides of the equation by E raised to T. So we have Q 1.2, okay, because E raised to T over E raised to T would cancel. So 1.2 is the remaining uh, value, minus 1.2 over E raised to T. So this is the charge at any time t. And furthermore, by loss of exponent, also I can rewrite the charge at any time t as 1.2 minus 1.2 e raised to negative t. I can negate the exponent to bring this on the numerator. So any of the two answers will do. Okay? So it says find the charge at any time t. We got the correct answer. If we plug in any value of t, we can find the charge, okay? At any time, and the charge, okay? The charge, find the charge after 4 seconds, 0 0.4 seconds. So simply, if I'm going to plug in 0 0.4 seconds in our equation, so we have q is equals to 1.2 minus 1.2 e raised to negative 0 0.4 seconds, I can get the charge, Okay? By simply calculating it, so we have the charge should be 0 0.396 coulomb. So 0 0.396 coulomb. That is the charge after 0 0.4 seconds. Okay? And lastly, we are asked, find the charge at any time t and the current 0 0.4 seconds. So what is the current 0 0.4 seconds? We know a while ago that from the very first slide, we have I is equal to dq over dt. So we have the q, okay, we have this q. Our q is equivalent to 1.2 minus 1.2 e raised to negative t. So if I'm going to get the derivative of this with respect to t, I would be getting the current because current is dq over dt. So if I'm going to get the current with respect to t, this would be zero, okay? So minus, okay, with respect to t, this is negative 1, okay, 1.2 e raised to negative t. So, we have uh, 0 plus 1.2 e raised to negative t, okay, or in other words, 1.2 e raised to negative t, that is our current at any time t, okay, because we get the derivative of this with respect to our t. Okay, and it says, what is the current? Okay, that's the question. Okay, what is the current? What is the current after time is equals to 
0.4 second. So simply we substitute the value of time here because this is the current at any time at any time t. So we have 1.2 e raised to negative 0.4. So we have 1.2 minus e uh, times e raised to negative 0.4. So it should give us 0.804. And the unit of current is in terms of, yes, you are correct, in terms of amperes. So, uh, that's it. I hope you learned something for today in the application of first order differential equation in resistor capacitor circuit. So, we only need to have a knowledge of linear, so of linear and variable separable. Maybe you can try it on your own if you solve it into variable separable. Let me know in the comment section below if you got the same answer using variable separable in solving these problems that we have tried using linear. So I hope you learned something for today. That's it. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, have a great day. This is Engineer Abba. Thank you so much and God bless you.